Hi, this is Stan. Welcome back to a tiny little piece of the Erie Lackawanna Railroad. Well, I'd like to try out a little gadget this week called Choo Choo Vision. It's a point of view, real-time Wi-Fi camera system that you can use on a model train layout. So if that sounds interesting, join me. Some time ago, I played around with a little camera, a little spy camera that could be mounted onto a flat car or box car or something, but it wasn't a real-time image. In other words, you had to have a little SD card and it recorded onto the card and then you could pull the card out and check the video. So essentially, it was just a video camera that was smaller than normal. But our topic today, the Choo Choo Vision Model Railroad Video Camera. This is an actual real-time camera. So it connects to your laptop via Wi-Fi and you can see what's going on from the locomotive's point of view in real time. So here's the body. It's got all the goodies inside and this here is the actual camera. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. So here's the other camera. You can see for size comparison. And this is the Choo Choo Vision camera. It's even got a little focusing ring on. Very tiny. And I guess it was designed so that if you wanted to, you could actually mount this camera inside the cab of your locomotive for a true point of view. Here's the gizmo. Now, this piece of plastic on here is my fabrication. What I did was I mounted this camera and the actual electronic box on a piece of plastic so that I can simply, once it's charged up, just drop it on the locomotive like that. I've got a couple of locomotives that I use. So let me take a minute and show you how I fabricated this little mounting tray that fits on top of the locomotive. Here we are at the workbench and I've got a piece of styrene here and what I did is I cut a strip of the styrene and rather than glue sides I needed a little horseshoe shaped piece. I wanted to actually melt this bend in the sheet. I thought it would be stronger than doing a glue joint here. So here's how I did that after I cut the piece. And then I've got another piece here that's going to glue onto the side and the camera will actually attach to the front of this L-shaped piece. And so I applied heat like this with the soldering iron, got it softened up, and then using a block of wood I formed it down over these two pieces of plywood and it was still a little springy so then I had to go back and kind of touch it up a little bit so that the 90 degree angle was permanent. Now there's a little tiny tube or a stack sticking up here so you can see I drilled a tiny hole so that this will fit down over that little stack and be as low to the top of the locomotive as possible. So then we have to glue this piece laterally on the side.
and let's let that glue set up here. As soon as that's dry, I need to touch this up with a little sandpaper and add a little spray paint. Well, I was hoping I had some gray, but I've got this metal finish gray. That'll have to do for now. Maybe later I'll spray paint it an actual just plain gloss gray. Here you can see the little charging port on the back. And according to the directions, the size of battery and everything that I got should last about an hour, maybe not quite that much, but you know, close to an hour or so on the layout of running. I'll put a link to the Choo Choo Vision website down in the description below. And there's a lot of detail there and they actually have more than one model of camera and so there's a lot of interesting things to check out there um, and this video is not sponsored by Choo Choo Vision at all it's a, a product that I bought and have modified for my own use well what are we waiting for let's fire up the laptop and go to the layout and see what it looks like well here's the number four let's pop the camera on and take a look. And with a little magnet, I will turn the camera on and we'll click here on the Choo Choo Cam. And this screen pops up. You can see all sorts of adjustments that you can make. Let's click on photo. That brings up the image. So now we know the camera's working and I will click over on start video. And let's move in on that brown box car. I'll advance my throttle just a little bit. Let me turn the locomotive around on the turntable and we'll head into Binghamton with the camera on it and see what that looks like. One way this might be kind of interesting is if you had a team, a driver and a conductor, so to speak. So you could have one person actually doing the switching manipulation while someone else was at the controls in the cab, so to speak, operating the locomotive. So here we are leaving Conklin Yard. And again, I have the focus set sort of medium depth. So things far away are going to be a little blurry. But you can easily rotate the camera to bring the long view into focus versus the short view. This just barely fits underneath the tunnels and the turntable structure, so I kind of lucked out with that. And it does pop on and off very easily.
Well, I'm going to leave it there for today. This is Stan saying, I hope that was interesting and informative for you. I try to do a train-related video about every week, and that's a pretty demanding schedule, but I give it my best shot. Thanks so much, and I'll see you right here next time.